Hey there! The Experience team is here to help guide you through the brand new Match Queue feature this season. Before we begin, be sure to check out our previous video introducing the Smart Schedule. This video details why the feature was introduced, how it impacts your teams, and covers some frequently asked questions. Now on to what you came here for. Today's the day. Your first match has arrived and is available to view in both your dashboard and your schedule. But how do I access my match lobby page? Clicking open match in either the dashboard or your schedule will take you to your match lobby page. Here, you'll notice that your opponent is shown as opponent TBD with a grayed out Firebob logo. This means that your team is slated to join the match queue for this week. Note that if your scheduled match and lobby page show a verified high school as your opponent, then your team has been automatically scheduled for that week and does not need to utilize the match queue feature at this time. There will be a countdown timer that lets you know when the match queue opens. Once this initial countdown reaches zero, the match queue timer will begin. At any point, a coach can revisit this page to see how much time is left for their team to join the queue. Once this time hits zero, the queue will close and teams not in the queue will receive a forfeit for that week. Quick tip! There's a helpful FAQ section below the Match Queue banner that details how the Match Queue works and what your team can expect when using this feature. The queue opens 10 minutes prior to your competition time, and teams will be matched up at 10 minute intervals until the full 30 minute time period has lapsed. At the end of each interval, teams will either be paired up or the timer will reset and continue. In total, there will be four opportunities for a team to get paired up for a match. How do I join the queue? Now that your team is set up for success and ready to compete, locate and click the Find Opponent button to enter the match queue. The match queue will utilize Swiss scheduling to pair up teams based on team record. If your team was not paired up, be sure to remain in the queue. Though the system was unable to find you an opponent initially, it is still working behind the scenes to get your team a match. Again, be sure to remain in the queue for the full 30 minutes after your scheduled competition time. Once the final timer hits zero, the queue will close, and a text prompt will indicate that your team has been awarded a buy for that week. Buys are counted as a win this season, and your team will be eligible for automatic scheduling in the following week. Should your team still wish to compete for practice, the scrimmage queue will be available to join on a first-come, first-served basis to find an opponent. What do I do after being paired up? Once paired up using the match queue, your team will briefly see your opponent before being redirected to your traditional match lobby page. One last note, the grace period for all matches is 30 minutes after your scheduled competition time, regardless of which interval your team is paired up at. Thanks for taking the time to review the Match Queue feature. If you have any further questions, we'll be happy to assist you. Reach out by using the icon in the bottom right, or email us at support at playverses.com. And on behalf of the team, best of luck in your match.